Today our topic is data and its types. Data actually the raw material for analysis and define as data are facts and figures that are collected, analyzed and summarized for presentation and interpretation. There are different types of data. Before knowing them, it is important to know some basic terms. Terms like elements, variables, observations and dataset. Let's understand these terms with an example. The given information based on Forbes magazine on the total wealth of world's 10 richest people where an element is a specific object about which the information is collected. Total wealth in our example is a variable that is the characteristic of elements that assume different values for different elements. And the value of variable for an element is called an observation. Whereas the collection of observations on one or more variables is called dataset and the whole information given in table is called data that is actually presented here in tabular form. Now we learn different types of data. The data can be classified either as qualitative or quantitative. In qualitative data, elements generate non-numeric response. For example, an employee's highest qualification is a non-numeric response generated by an element. Similarly, the gender of customer, eye color, vehicle type, etc. are different examples of qualitative data. In qualitative data, we usually count the responses to determine how many responses belong to each category. And then we use these responses for further analysis. Whereas in quantitative data elements generate numeric responses as the price of products, the age of employees. Actually here we have the elements always generate the numeric responses. So these are some examples of quantitative data. The quantitative data can further classified as discrete data or continuous data. Discrete data can assume certain numerical values with no intermediate values. For example, number of bedrooms in a house is actually a discrete data set because a house can have three or four bedrooms but not actually have 3.56 bedrooms. Similarly, number of students in statistics class, cars sold by dealers are different examples of discrete data set. It is interesting to know that discrete data obtained by counting the responses. For example, a dealer counted the number of cars he actually sold in given time period. That is an example of discrete data set. Whereas continuous data can assume any numerical value that can occur in an interval. For example, air pressure in a tire as it can take any value in a given interval. Similarly, your GPA, weight, height, etc. are different examples of continuous data set. Now your job is to mention any other real life examples regarding discrete data set or continuous data set in the comments. Now we move to exercise where some of the variables are being given on the basis of such variables we actually collect the data. Now your job is to tell me in the comments the data that will be collected is either qualitative or quantitative. If your answer for particular case is quantitative, then is that a discrete data or continuous data? 